Hi, thanks for joining me on this demonstration on how to use my paper textures. These textures are based on actual traditional texture gesso and watercolor textures that I created using uh, traditional media and then scanned into the computer and uh, made into paper textures. What I like to do is I flat out all my colors underneath my rough, rough sketch. Now starting on the flat color layer, layer 1, I can select an area that I want to paint in. So I'll use my straight lasso tool and select that area. And I'll choose a dull Conte crayon. And you can find that under chalk, pastel, and crayons. I will use one of my paper textures, DAS Scumbled Gesso. And I like this brush because it's easy to lay in that texture. So I'll choose a darker value, slightly darker than the value I have in the flatted color. And I'll start brushing in that texture. You can see it popping in there. Then I will adjust that paper texture. You can play with the scale and then the paper rotation. You can see a little preview there. And then I'll choose a lighter value and start brushing that in. You can see how it sits on top of the other texture. And right now we're getting some nice wall texture in there. And I'll add some lighter values to add some lighter areas to that texture. Start to brush that in. You can manipulate the paper just a little bit. Um, this time I'm using some scumbled gesso. DAS scumbled gesso and you can brush that on there. And it comes out really pretty clear. And you can mix and match these textures too. So I might go back and choose the DAS shredded gesso. And I'll, I'll manipulate this a little bit here. And I chose darker, darker value. And I want to bring in some of that, the streaks, the real nice streaks of this texture. Really roughen up this surface. Still using the dull Conte. So next, I will select the top of this trapdoor. And I will choose a paper texture for that area to paint into the selection. So I will choose this DAS tight scratch gesso paper texture. And I will move the texture and rotate it to the angle of the wood. Adjust the size a little bit and maybe the angle just a little bit more so it, the texture doesn't the lighter values don't paint right over the darker texture that I laid down first. Just to adjust it accordingly, I'll, I'll paint an even more lighter value at the top edge there. As it gets closer to us, I want to highlight that edge with some light, even lighter value. And just still with the dull Conti crayon, it really picks up that texture of that paper. Very nice. And so now I will select floor and with the wispy canvas gesso angled at the right angle of the floor. I'll paint in this darker value, adding some dark value texture there. Brush it in there. It needs planks, so I'll let's lower the brush size down quite a bit. And let's raise up my opacity here and with the angle of those floorboards, with the angle of the floor. Uh, I'll choose, uh, let's choose speckled gesso. Going at the same angle, same perspective as the floor. Let's brush those in. Now with the, that same size brush, let's choose a lighter value and add a little bit of highlight to those floorboards so there's some dimension to those floorboards. And so what I'll do now is just really tightly brush along the edge of those dark strokes that I put in for to establish the floorboards. Now I'll highlight the edges just a little bit, brush them in, or 
I'll make my brush size a little bit bigger and with the streaky gesso and lighter value we'll brush in a little bit lighter values giving some more texture there you can see some of the nice highlights hitting that texture of that wood I'll choose a slashy strokes texture and I'll brush in some just some nicks in the wood and dings in the wood there and, and I'll darken up my uh, floor separation okay for this back wall I'll use my magic wand and select that uh, back wall here and change the size darker value there brush it in it's kind of nice but let's try it again a little bit warmer a little bit lighter value uh, let's try this okay and now I'll adjust the size a bit come in with a dark even darker value again with the scumble gesso paper texture there Start brushing that in with that darker value around the edges. I'm going to try something a little more interesting with shredded gesso. Let's really make this paper texture really big and add some real deep holes in this wall here. We'll add some detail to this trap door here. We'll just select it real quick. Tight scratch gesso with the dark value and let's lower the paper texture and then we'll rotate the paper to match the angle on that side edge here brush in that highlight there TAS watercolor 01 gives a nice kind of organic texture finer details like darker values to help separate these fingers here and then we'll use the watercolor blooms paper texture to and a lighter value brush in some highlights and then we'll deselect that layer and then just free paint over and with some darker values give some definition to the hand and I'll use some digital water let's choose the speckled coarse dry brush and let's bring the diffusion up to 11 and the wet fringe around 70, 71 and start bringing in some darker values some shadow colors over the hand let's make our brush really big here let's brush over the canvas still you can see some of that texture coming through with this watercolor brush speckled coarse dry brush with the uh, watercolor blooms paper texture let's brush over that whole piece and then we'll come in with some light yellow still with the speckled coarse dry brush and the watercolor blooms paper texture and let's paint in some bring back some highlights let's pull these highlights back out the light back to that wall that back wall there and I think we're good thanks for joining hope this was helpful